الحمد لله طيب يلا مريم ريد I will not waste some time asking who wants to read and let's start with مريم خلاص مريم directly read Is this question 28? Yes, and I want to thank those who sent the homework. Okay, and uh, I want to tell you that these homework, they have marks on them. Okay? Uh, because you sent the homework. Yes. You sent the homework because you care. Yes. Okay, and I'm thinking of adding these marks on the online quiz that we did. Okay, to increase it. Yala ya Mariam, start. Male with yellow body and venial wings times female with grey body and venial veinless, veinless wings equal 100% grey body and venial wings F1. Okay. What do you conclude concerning the dominance of these genes? So he's yeah. asking about the dominance. And uh, gray, the gray body is dominant, is dominant, and gray body G is dominant over yellow body Y. Okay. And the venial, venial wings, uh, V, capital V, is dominant over the recessive, veinless, uh, small V wings. Okay, but I noticed something here that they are, let's say, flipped. Yani the dominant of the body color is with the female. Yes. While the dominant of the wings is with the male. So now they are not on the same side. Right? Okay, no problem. No problem. So because this could be a new idea that we are discussing. And the more new ideas we see, okay, the better will be for us. Yes. Okay, very good. As I'm concerning here, the F1 being homogeneous, it is concluded that the gray is and vineyard wings character are dominant over the yellow body wings and uh, without uh, uh, vein, parents are pure race. Okay, no problem until now. And you can choose any letter concerning the symbols if they don't specify. Let's continue. From the, uh, we realize the crossing below between two F1 drosophila, yani F1 times F1. Yani male and female from the F1, yani yes. they are gray with vinyl. Uh, document one shows the results. Uh huh. What do I get? Gray body, normally vinyl wings, yani the two dominant. 3,747 females. Yes, and uh, the zero the rest. Okay, but uh, well, for the rest of the characteristics, are there are no females at all. Yes. Yes, we have only males from this. So this is a new data here. Yes. Okay, from the results obtained in F2, could this heredity be autosomal? Uh, it says lot. It's lot. impossible for it to be autosomal. No. Okay. No. So it cannot be autosomal. Okay. Why I say it cannot be autosomal? It says that no, the female. Three times zero. Meaning three times zero. The gray body, yellow body, uh, normal, veinless. Okay. Tab Maryam, if they are autosomal, both of them. What results you should get when you do F1 times F1? Uh, usually, Anna, what do results usually I get in autosomal? Yes, the independent. Yeah, too high, too low. Yeah, either too high or too low, or 9331. Or 50 50. Yes. Okay. Do, do I get any of these? Hatta no. in autosomal, I do not separate male from female in results. Yes. So is a no? 
in case of autosomal and regardless if the genes are independent, absolutely linked or partially linked, there should not be variation in the studied phenotype according to sex among the offspring. So in the offspring, I should not look at male and female in autosomal case. Yes. Right? So that's why the studied genes are not carried by autosomes. You got it, the others, please, everyone? Why it's not autosomal? Because in all autosomal cases that we have seen, we never differentiate between male and female. We never said in males this amount, in female this amount. Okay? So, this is very important. That... In male and female, whenever we say male, female in the offspring, meaning I'm talking about gonosomal chromosomes. Gonosomal chromosomes. Now, do I say here, Yamariam, that one of them autosomal and the other is not? Exactly. Here they are not separated. I did not get an autosomal result in any of the characteristics. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Yamariam. Uh, Yala ya Jana, continue please. In fact, these two genes are located on the X chromosome, and to interpret the results, Morgan noted that the link between the alleles of the two genes is broken in some cases during the formation of the gametes of the hybrid female F1. Okay, first, Yajana, you tell me that both genes are on the X. Yani somehow yes. they are uh, linked on X. Both of them are on X. Okay, but I am not sure now if here there is complete linkage or, absol uh, or partial linkage on the X itself. So that's why Morgan, who was working on the Drosophila, noted that the link is uh, broken in some case. Yeah, there is some kind of crossing over. Show how the figure of prophase in document 2 has allowed Morgan to confirm, okay, the theory about the chromosomes and what type of recombination do we have here? Let's look at these here in document two, guys. We see two chromosomes. Okay, so Morgan got this picture. From this picture, he said that they are not completely linked. Okay, he said, they are not completely linked. So look at the picture and tell me what happened here. Jana, what do you think happened here? Between the two mm. axes of chromosome. First, when I'm talking about exchange, can I talk about this in male or in female? Type. Okay, let's let's discuss it logically. Okay, let's discuss it logically. For the two chromosomes, Yajana, to exchange, they have to be the same size. Okay? Yes. Type. In male, do you have X and Y at the same size? No. No. So there will be no crossing over between X and Y. There will be no exchange between X and Y. So in the male, they remain as they are. Okay? So meaning okay. the exchange happens where? In the female. Female. Uh, so the exchange happens in the female. Okay, very good. Type. Now the image starts to become, let's say, a clearer. Now what's happening? So here, Morgan, when he looked at these two X chromosomes, 
Here, a key, they are the two x before duplication. Yani be before they become an x, they are still like a kind of a thread. Okay? Then the first line above, this is one chromosome. The line below is another chromosome. He noticed that they are coming next to each other. They are coming next to each other. Okay? They are coming next to each other. So this means, this means that, okay, this means that they are exchanging, uh, uh, let's say, uh, alleles at the level of the X chromosomes in the female. Okay? In the alleles of uh, females. Type. Okay. Now, what type of recombination do you have here, Tayyib Yajana? What type of recombination? Partial. Partial linkage, exactly. Partial linkage because not all the uh, X's exchange or, or you will get the same results for all of them. Yes. Type. I don't have the same result for all of them. So this means that the exchange was not by all of them. So it's a kind of crossing over. It is a kind of crossing over. Type. Okay. Type. Uh, the phenotype. Okay, then let us check it together here as the answer. Uh, I don't want this part to be here. Type yalla Jana, the presence of the offspring in the offspring. The presence in the offspring of male phenotypes, gray body wings without veins, and yellow body veined wings can be interpreted only if the F1 female has produced gametes XGN and XJN, which implies the occurrence of uh, intrachromosomic Intrachromosomic uh, combination. combination. Yes. In the parents, you have either yellow venial or a gray veinless. Right? In F1, you get the gray venial. Yani you have only these three phenotypes. While in F2, in F2, you get what? You get characteristics that you didn't see in the parents. Okay? There yes. are characteristics you didn't see in the parents. So from where these characteristics come from, they have to come from what? They have to come from the crossing over. Okay? They have to come from the crossing over. Clear? Yes, clear. Okay. Very good. Type. Okay. Skip the percentages here and continue. By putting in relation... By putting in relation to the existence of recombinant gametes and the observation of a chiasma, chiasma in preface change. Yes, in preface of meiosis first division, Morgan concludes uh, that these are the exchanges between the chromatids of homologous chromosomes that make account of uh, the existence of recombinant gametes. This is a case of partial linkage. This distorted by crossing over. Faisan, it's a kind of a partial linkage, okay, with crossing over. It is a kind, it is a kind of uh, crossing over, a partial linkage with the crossing over. Okay, type, everyone understand now why it is crossing over? Why I get this? It will be clearer when we calculate percentages. طيب جنا هير. أستاذ إيش ما من الدنيا لاتنين فكرة وبعدين قلنا إنه هي partial linkage هذه كانت ال الطريقة غير. Yes, لأنه here they give you a figure in document two and he wants you to depend on it. 
يعني يعني الفيجر اللي مورغان جات This is an evidence, a direct evidence that there is a crossing over. So no need to deny the other two. Okay, yani this is a proof here that there is a crossing over okay. happening because these are two chromosomes attached from two points, from the middle and from the end. This means that they are crossing parts, crossing alleles. Okay? Okay. Very good. طيب continue uh, uh, Jana find the phenotypic percentages in F2 how you will do the percentages uh, yes uh, but tell me how you get them uh, exactly then you add the total how much you get in total if you have it in front of you صراحة ما بتذكر. Okay, seven thousand four hundred ninety-seven. آه هكشي. Okay, when you do, look what happens. When you do the females alone. When you do the females alone. Okay, the percentage of females are fifty percent, which is should be يعني logical لأنه female should be fifty and male should be fifty. Yes. So all the females are around 50%. The rest of the males, yani the four characteristics uh, shown in the males, the total of them should be 50% also. For as in males so, having gray normal vein, okay, we have a 20, 22. Uh, uh, we have, uh, let's say, uh, 6%, 22%, and around 3.5 and 3.5 percent okay and or we can make them whole numbers no problem but these numbers should be around this value but what i want to get that the total of the males should have should be let's say total of the males should be 50 percent okay total of the males should be 50 percent with total of the females also is 50%. طيب. Now we want to make the chromosomal analysis to explain the obtained results. And this is the most important part. Okay? How we make chromosomal analysis to explain the obtained result. طيب. Let me see. Let me see uh, if I can open the camera and do it in front of you. Okay? So I can make you understand it better. Okay? Let me try this. I will close it from here and I will open it from the phone because the phone has the camera. Okay? And let's see if I can show it to you directly. Okay? So please don't go away. Stay with me. Yalla. But I will just close it from here. No, no, no. Tahseen, you stay. I will leave, then I come back. But I will come back from the phone. Okay?